Hey everybody, welcome back to another video and another boxing equipment review. Today, we're gonna be reviewing the Everlast Leather Speed Bag. Had this once I got this whole setup. Um, check out, make sure to check out the um, whole heavy bag stand, dual stand review I had last week. Make sure to check that out. But um, I said I was gonna be reviewing actually the bags that have them. I have the heavy bag right there. But I'm gonna be doing the speed bag today. This is the Everlast Leather Speed Bag. Got it for about 45 bucks off of um, everlast.com on the speed bag platform by Everlast, of course, but um, this is a bit loose, okay? However, this, this is pretty good. So, as you can see, decent size. I think it's a bit narrow, okay? Compared to the speed bags that are in my actual boxing gym that I go to, they're a bit thicker, okay? They're probably better for beginners. They're bigger, they're better for beginners. This, a bit narrow, okay, a bit smaller. So, you know, obviously the size of where you hit is gonna be smaller, gonna be a bit harder, but I still feel like I enjoy it. now. Here are some things to just know about the speed bag, okay? Make sure to hit it with, you know, what wraps on. It, it could definitely hurt, right? It's leather. It could definitely hurt going at it constantly. It could hurt your hands a bit. Not too bad, right? I mean, if you're just tough, you're fine. I usually don't wear wraps, but if you're new, you know, first time hitting heavy bag, I recommend just wearing wraps because, you know, it could damage your hands a bit. It could hurt your hands a bit, sting your hands a bit. But after a while, if you've been boxing for a while, you probably get away with them. But still, it's a pretty hard bag. I don't like to pump it up all the way. I don't know basically like speed bag rules, right? Like, I don't know if you're actually supposed to pump up a speed bag all the way. I like to just leave a little air out of it. So you see me squeezing it just a bit. I like to leave it a little loose. So, you know, it's softer on my hands. It bounces quicker. That's just me. But anyway, also, sorry about the shadow, but I'm just uh, just got done working out. You know, usually I always post my uh, product review, equipment review every week, every Sunday. It's getting late on Sunday, so I wanted to get this up ASAP, so I decided to just record it here instead of in my room like always. But um, all right, I'm gonna show you just a video, uh, me hitting the speed bag. So, as you can see, it's not too bad, okay? Also, I wanted to point out, it comes with this hook. I can't remember if it did, but now I do. It definitely did come with this hook. Um, it came with, you know, I put it like this. Nothing, nothing too hard. So, that's another thing I like about it, okay? It doesn't really need that usual basic heavy bag swivel that's like, you know what I'm talking about? Like the actual swivel that a lot of good um, platforms have. This is pretty simple. And I'm sure you could probably work that in, but thankfully for convenience, you know, with this platform, not the best. Like I said, it moves around. It, it was coming on here. It's obviously gonna be cheap, right? It's obviously gonna be cheap compared to our actual, really um, real heavy bag, uh, speed bag platform. So that's a quick little review. I mean, there's tons of speed bags out there. A lot of speed bags are alike, especially by a good brand like Everlast. I think it's good. I think it's good, convenient, right, for my heavy bag stand, okay, with the dual stand, which has the speed bag, the speed bag platform, of course. Like I said, it's cheap, but it's convenient, right? It's not meant for, you know, pros to be training on. It's just nice to have at home, you know, when I can't make it to the gym or, you know, I'm, I'm just, you know, the gym's not open, right? So I like it. I like it. I'll have the link to buy it. Like I said, I got it for like 45 bucks off Everlast. There's, of course cheaper ones right i just like that one okay it had pretty good reviews so i went with it you could go with title everlast you know what i'm saying but like i said it's leather feels good you know i recommend it i recommend it hope you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like subscribe to my channel so i can keep posting more boxing equipment reviews trust me i have so much equipment and i'm gonna be getting so much more in the future probably never gonna run out of uh these ideas so i'm out guys peace